Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today we are doing a flip through of this Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady uh, book. It's made out of a stationery set that was not, it's not actually made out of the, the book, but of a stationery set that was sold in 1977 at the Milwaukee Public Museum. So this is uh, the book that I made out of that. The, the um, it is a hinge journal, and the spine has this little crocheted lace on it, and then uh, some of this, I think it's um, eyelash yarn with buttons on them. This was an idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost, so this little spine dangle situation, just love that. It looks so pretty on the, on the hanging in front of that spine, so I don't know if I can do it, but see? <laughs> very pretty. Okay, so let's get her open, see what's inside. All right, so this is some of the original uh, stationery that came in the set, and just, that was the original fold over, so I've got some of those in there. I've got glue on my fingers. As usual, glue on my fingers, getting it on things. Okay, so this book could be a journal for someone to write, like, a few things per month or it could be a date planner as well sort of a junk journal so this i it will be for sale in my etsy shop but let's take a look at it uh i think i said it but it's it is a hinge journal so it doesn't have any signatures every all the pages are connected to each other so this uh these main pages have images from the country diary uh, also, I wanted to share with you guys because I thought you guys would be the, in if you're interested in this book, you would be interested in this. I finally found, I ran across a copy of the book and it was at a Goodwill, which was really surprising. And I never do this, but look at the, that's what the book looks like under the, under the cover. Somebody scribbled out their birthday present. Uh, but yeah, so I was super excited about that. Lovely pages. Just amazing. Amazing. So, lots of goodies in there. I haven't had one since I took apart my mother's back in like 20 years ago. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so this, this page, these main pages are not from the Country Diary. They're from the Country Diary of a craft of crafts I think is what it's called so it just has lots of ideas for craft ideas so that's what those pages are from so this is an example from that book and then all the pages are these cream colored pages have little butterflies there's a little bee that was from the stationery set that I got or not station craft set and it had like scrapbooking paper and it was kind of a dud but that is Anita Holden bee and it's got like a little gold on its on its behind her uh-huh yep and <laughs> here's February fair maids of February very pretty images nice uh stationery so it's like resume paper and then uh, on the opposite page, I did a little collage, and generally they have like nature themes to them. And you, and some of them you could write in on those as well. So it's a very heavily, there are, the only pockets in this book, in this journal, are in the front and the back. And spring arose on the garden fair. I love this horse's image, it's so pretty. And another collage stationery had a lot of fun with those collages look a teacup <laughs> april weather ruin and sunshine both together <laughs> there you go april and this one book page collage may a little i don't know what kind of of bird's nest that is i just don't know an angel mid the woods of May embroidered it with radiance gay. So I think you're supposed to be able to see that. <laughs> there you go. 
There you go. The little quotes. Mist in May and heat in June bring all things into tune. And that's the cover. Also, you see the little butterflies like between there. Cute. Fair amount of washi tape in this one. Nice little collage. That's Helen Steiner Rice watercolors. I really like hers. This is from, uh, I think this is Stamperia set. It's like Spring Garden or something like that. Then came Hot July, boiling like to fire, that all his garments he had cast away. Hot July. Another little collage. The pheasant. Gosh. Fairest of months, ripe summer's queen, the heyday of the year, with robes that gleam with sunny sheen, sweet August doth appear. It's pretty. A little image there with some book pages. September blows soft till the fruit's in the loft. <laughs> I don't understand that quote. Then came October, full of merry glee. I probably said it wrong. That's why I read it wrong. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I forgot what I did. It's been a while. And actually, when I think of this, when I look at this flip through, I think of Yellowstone because I was like binge watching it while I was making this journal. He lingers for a moment in the West with the declining sun sheds over all a pleasant farewell smile and so returns to God. Beautiful bird. Beauty must. Some of my 1860s ledger paper. I'll put a little piece of that in there. And then December. In December, keep yourself warm and sleep. Yep. And then this is sort of a December themed little collage. And more from that set in the back. And then this one is from that other uh, craft stationery, not sta I see, I keep saying stationery, from that uh, Edith Holden, so this was made in like 2018, Edith Holden Crafts from Joann's. It's basically those little magazine packs that are in plastic and then have other crafts. There was like a Edith Holden stationery, or, oh, I did it again, scrapbook uh, set in there and it was a little disappointing. This is like the best paper from it, so. <laughs> this one's pretty good but it just it had a lot of gold in it and it just it didn't go with the theme I thought but anyway all right so this is the journal it will be for sale in my Etsy shop so I hope you I hope you check it out my if it's something you might be interested in it's got a little functionality to it and it's got some cool looks to it this says the copyright uh it was Elgin Court was the stationary set. I don't know what that means, but that's what it said on there. It actually says Elgin Cord under here, but it's in like a bright yellow. It's like this color and it just was glaring on there. So I covered it up. I covered it up. I did. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, if you're there and you check it out in my Etsy shop, uh, you know, you can check out a few other things that are in my shop while you're at it. I've got lots of goodies in there. Uh, both the digital and a lot of physical items in there for sale. And I think that's it. If you're interested in seeing more videos, you can always click subscribe. That really helps out my channel. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.